from 124 meters below the ocean surface. It is a privilege to address you, citizens of the world. This is a historical moment for my country, Seychelles. The sea has a special relationship with all of us. And it is clear to me that it is under threat like never before. It is vital that we have more data, more information to clearly chart our way forward. This issue is bigger than all of us and we cannot wait for the next generation to solve it. The time to act is now. Necton's mission is to explore and protect the deep ocean, the last great unknown frontier on our planet. Our mission here in Seychelles is to undertake at least 50 first descents into this unknown territory and try and gather the actionable data that they need to help inform the protection of 30% of their entire ocean territory. That's equivalent in size to twice the entire United Kingdom. We really don't have almost any information for everything that is below 30 meters. So the main aim is to have this baseline information that will allow us to understand what's going on in the deeper environments in the whole of the Seychelles. We want to know about the identity of species, what kind of species do we have there, how common are they, uh, where do they occur. Only if you have that information can you then start making some decisions about what to conserve. The Seychelles government really want to get that baseline information of their deeper habitats so they can make more informed decisions for the marine spatial planning. We use a vast array of different equipment and technologies and this is because we want to assess the whole of the water column. So not just the seabed, not just the water itself, but all the way from surface to depth. We first want to understand the shape of the seabed and we do that by using multi-beam that is deployed on our work boat and that gives the shape of the seabed and allows us not only to find the best place to do science but also to make sure that it's safe for the submersibles. When we're looking at the seabed, we visualise that by using the remotely operated vehicle, the ROV. And for the shallower depths, down to 250, we use the submersibles. We've set up the submersibles two different ways. One is the survey sub, so it has stereographic camera systems uh, deployed in different orientations to uh, survey the, the seabed. The other sub is set up as our sample sub. So it has a collection basket on board uh, to collect specimens and samples and put those in the basket using the manipulator arm. Here we are in the Indian Ocean, a very remote part indeed of the Indian Ocean. We are 135 meters down, 442 feet, taking in the view. Shock! Shock! A core part of our mission has been to put Seychelles in the international spotlight as a champion for ocean conservation. The story of our aquanauts exploring the last great frontier on our planet, the deep ocean, has captivated audiences around the world because it's an inspirational story, a story of epic human endeavor. One of the most positive aspects of the Nectar mission was that, that uh, media coverage to, to put it out there, to show the people what's happening. People have known that Seychelles has incredible beauty and richness in our oceans, but after the Nectar mission, this will be 10 times greater. This mission has been made possible by the extraordinary generosity of an alliance of partners, over 50 different partners from business, from academia, from civil society, from government and from media, all coming together with a shared and collective purpose to explore and conserve the deep ocean. 
Yeah, copy that, Kensington. Top side. Mission is really important to us. The reason that we stepped up to do the mission is, I think, irrespective of what you believe about global warming and our impact on uh, on the planet. What we do know is that we don't have accurate knowledge of what's going on in the ocean today. So the Seychelles for us is a beginning of a process really to just understand what we have today. The most wonderful thing that we're doing as Kensington tourists and Necton is plunging into this undiscovered country uh, and coming back with great insights and great stories and great memories and great data. absolutely fundamental for organizations like ours, marine research projects everywhere in the world, to work with and on behalf of a host nation like the Seychelles. This is their territory. We are here purely as visitors. And throughout this mission, we've worked hand in hand with Seychelles partners. The first descents that we undertook have been with Seychelles Hua. We've had nine participating scientists, six major grants to support their research. For us, it was an opportunity of a lifetime for all the, the people involved, the authorities, the government, but also the local scientists. I mean, for them to be able to eventually learn about what's being gathered, this is an incredible opportunity for, for Seychelles. It was just amazing being down there to see all this and just being under the ocean. But yeah, it's beautiful down there. It's amazing though. <laughs> Do you think yeah, this mission, this small mission of what we've done here, has it brought value to, to Seychelles? When we met for the first day, you were truthful to my government. And you told me at State House, look here, President, we come into your waters, the data will belong to you. That was the basis of a partnership which is based on trust. And out of this partnership, other countries will emulate We began this expedition not to investigate what was probable, but to undertake what was possible. We have entered the unknown. We have gone into the depths of the Seychelles that no one had been before. We've overcome significant challenges on this journey. But at the heart of all of this, the success has been borne by the team of people on this boat and also all the different partners who have come together to support it. And together, hand in hand, we've gone into the unknown and we have succeeded. Over the years, we have created these problems. We can solve them. We must solve them. And we must solve them together. We are the guardians of two thirds of this blue planet's surface. We must act accordingly. We are running out of excuses to not take action and running out of time.